What do you mean by a first order RC low pass filter? Well, my name is Rishi Ranju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by a first order RC low pass filter? Well, let's find out. So here, before we go into the term first order RC low pass filter, first we need to understand what you mean by the term a filter. So, a filter is basically an electronic circuit where when we give different types of signals onto this electronic circuit, say, let us give a signal with frequency like this, let us give a signal say with frequency like this, let us give a signal with frequency like this. So here, what this filter circuit does is that it only allows signals with certain frequency to pass through it. So here, this filter circuit, my, let us say, this circuit allows only signals of this frequency to pass through it. So all the other signals are not passed through the circuit. At the output, we will only get this signal like this. This is simply what you refer to as a filter circuit. That is, it is simply an electronic circuit that passes only some frequency components through it and rejects all the other frequency components. So that is what you refer to as a filter. So based on the frequency band which is being passed through this particular filter, there are different types of filters that are present. So here, one such filter is simply what you refer to as a low pass filter. So here, a low pass filter is nothing but an electronic circuit that passes signals with a very low frequency range starting from 0 Hz to a particular limit or a particular frequency known as the cutoff frequency. So a low pass filter is simply but an electronic circuit that passes very low frequency signals ranging from 0 Hz to a particular cutoff frequency. So here beyond this particular cutoff frequency all the other signals are, are just rejected by this particular signal. All the other frequency components are simply just rejected. This low pass filter only passes signals ranging from 0 Hz to a particular cutoff frequency. So here, if we draw a frequency spectrum of a low pass filter, if we're taking frequency here, and if we're taking the amplitude over here, what we observe is that from zero hertz to a particular frequency, Fc, that is a cutoff frequency, only these frequency components are passed through this particular circuit. So here, this is called the pass band and rest all the frequency components are rejected. So this is called the stop band. So now, now let us construct a first order RC low pass filter. So the term first order means that a particular electronic circuit that contains just one energy storage element. An energy storage element can be a capacitor or an inductor. So here, since we are constructing an RC low pass filter, a first order RC low pass filter will contain one capacitor and one resistor. So now let us construct the circuit diagram of a first order RC low pass filter. So here this would have a particular resistor like this and a particular capacitor like this. This simple electronic circuit is a circuit diagram of a first order RC low pass filter. So here we have a resistor of resistance say R and a capacitor of capacitance say C. So here let us give an input voltage V in over here. If that's the case then the output voltage V out is obtained across the capacitor over here. So here, how do we prove that this particular circuit is a first order RC low pass filter? That is, we saw that low pass filter only passes signals with a low frequency. So here, here let us prove that this is a low pass filter. So let us assume that the current flowing through this circuit is I. So if the current flowing through this circuit is I, then here V out is obtained across this particular capacitor C. So therefore, we can say V out is equal to this particular current I into the reactance or the resistive value of C, which is Xc. Xc is nothing but the reactance of C or the resistive value of C. So here, but we know that current I is equal to 
V in divided by the total resistance, which is R plus XC. So therefore, substituting this over here, we would get V out is equal to V in, this V in, divided by R plus XC, multiplied by this value XC. So just on rearranging this, I'm just rearranging this, we'll get V out is equal to V in multiplied by XC divided by R plus XC. Here, XC is nothing but XC is equal to 1 divided by omega C. That is the magnitude value of XC, that is the reactance of the capacitor is 1 divided by omega C. So here, here what we observe is that if this particular frequency omega is very, very small, that is if a low frequency signal is passed, then here the value of omega is very small. So here, if the value of omega is very small, then XC is very, very, very large. So here, if the value of XC is very, very, very large, we can say that XC is very much greater than R. If that is the case, then V out is equal to V in multiplied by XC divided by R plus XC can be written as XC, since XC is very much greater than R. This gets cancelled, which means that V out is equal to V in. That is, for very low frequency components or very small frequency components, whatever voltage is passed, V in, whatever voltage is passed through the circuit is obtained at the output over here, V out. So next, next let us see the case if omega is very large. So here, if value of omega is very large, this becomes 1 divided by a very large value that is the value of the reactance Xc approximately becomes equal to zero. And therefore, we say that V out is equal to zero. So therefore, if omega is very large, here Xc is equal to zero, and therefore V out is equal to zero. So this thus proves that this is a particular low pass filter because when the frequency value is very small, whatever signal we pass in the input is obtained at the output. And here, if the frequency is very large, then no output is obtained, which is simply what you refer to as a low pass filter. So here, this was the ideal response in the case of a low pass filter. But practically what we observe is that in practical cases, when we see the frequency spectrum of a low pass filter, what we observe is that here, if this is the magnitude, if this is the amplitude, and if this is the frequency, then what we observe is that for very small frequencies, there would be zero attenuation, or there will be no loss in the input signal. But then gradually after a particular point, as the frequency increases, it slowly reduces like this. So here, this is the pass band, and this is a stop band. So here, now you'd be having the question, then if this is the case, what is the cutoff frequency? So the cutoff frequency is the value of the frequency at which the magnitude of this particular signal reduces to 0 0.707 times the maximum value of this particular input. So the value at which this particular signal's output becomes 0 0.707 times the V in, that is the cutoff frequency of this particular low pass filter. So at this frequency, the output is one by root two times the maximum value over here at this particular frequency, that is the cutoff frequency. And now, after the cutoff frequency, the output would reduce at a rate of minus 20 dB per decade. So now, now let us derive an expression for the cutoff frequency of a low pass filter. So here, here we have obtained that V out is equal to V in into Xc divided by R plus Xc. Let us take this as equation number one. So now here, if we consider only the magnitude of these values, then we have magnitude of V out is equal to magnitude of V in times magnitude of Xc divided by the magnitude of R plus Xc. So now let us take this over here. So the magnitude of V out by V in is equal to 
the magnitude of xc divided by magnitude of r plus xc. Here, this is equal to magnitude of xc divided by root of r square plus xc squared. The magnitude of a plus b is equal to root of a square plus b squared. Simple formula. But, 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 at the cutoff frequency, we know that v out is equal to 1 by root 2 times v in. So therefore, v out divided by v in is equal to 1 by root 2. So therefore, this becomes 1 by root 2. So therefore, 1 divided by root 2 is equal to, here the value of xc, the magnitude of xc is 1 divided by omega c. So 1 divided by omega c divided by root of r square plus 1 by omega c the whole square. So now here we have root on both these terms. So taking the square we would get, now upon taking the square we would get 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by omega c the whole square divided by r square plus 1 by omega c the whole square. So now on rearranging this we would get, so let us take this over here and this over here. So here r square plus 1 by omega c the whole square divided by 1 by omega c the whole square is equal to 2. So now here we have r square divided by 1 by omega c the whole square plus 1 is equal to 2. So taking this 1 over here we would get this is equal to 1. So that means that we can take this over here which means that r squared is equal to 1 by omega c the whole square. This implies that omega is equal to 1 by r c. So here this is omega c which is the cutoff angular frequency. But here we know the relation the angular frequency omega c is equal to 2 pi into the actual frequency fc. So therefore fc is nothing but omega c divided by 2 pi. But here omega c is 1 by rc so therefore fc is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc. So this is the value of the cutoff frequency of a first order rc low pass filter. And here the phase is given as phi is equal to minus tan inverse omega rc. This thus is simply what you refer to as a first order RC low pass filter. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have clear understanding of what you refer to as a first order RC low pass filter. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.